So, um, I've been working on something today and yesterday, obviously. Um, I have my new dabbers. Um, I use them for words, uh, smaller words, because I've been making some dabbers from the spools that I got in the, in the shop. Um, so, how I did them, I used the spool, you can probably use like a dowel or anything probably, something that you can hold really nice um, in your hands. And I would use this for bigger um, stuff like edging a um, big piece of paper or just, you know, let's say something like this. Okay, this is good enough for edging. And um, I wanted to show you what I did. So, let me demonstrate. <laughs> I think it's the same as, as the one that... Um, you can buy um, the sponges from a makeup sponge and I didn't know I couldn't find any velcros so that was a bummer I know I have it somewhere couldn't find any velcro, velcro not even a recycled one um, that made me made me really sad <laughs> but what I did is um, it's working great what I did is um, I cut the uh, circle out, okay, um, trace the circle on the spongy and cut it out and then I, um, I think this is this, no it's not, and then I put a masking tape over the top, okay, just put it on, I didn't glue it down, I just put it on very tightly. Um, try to rub it in um, so it sticks on it on the dowel let's say this is a dowel it's a spool but you know okay and then I adhere my sponge with um, yuhu glue because white glue was not working it was uh, just sipping into the sponge so try uh, Fabri-Tac that would probably work as well or um, uh, E6000 probably too, um, yeah, and I put the spongy on this tape. I actually cut the, the tape around before I put it on and then I put the spongy on, but just so you know, because I want to do it like with, um, um, what is it called? A Velcro, because I want to remove it if I want to do that, so that's why I just put a tape on and it actually it actually you can actually glue stuff on the tape which is great so whenever i don't need it anymore or it's too damaged i can just put it put it um of this i tried using um felt but the felt that i have didn't it took a lot a lot a lot of ink but it didn't put me you know I couldn't, I couldn't edge it like that, um, and it got dry very quickly, and all of that. Um, so, cheap way to actually make um, sponges were probably I got ten or twenty for two dollars or a do dollar and fifty, and then I'm left with these sponges, you know, just because it was a um, rectangle, something like that. And what I did is I tried, you know, using my paper clip and this side is too glossy so I couldn't do much with this side. I tried it. It doesn't, you know, the edge of the spongy, it's 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 not so good. So I didn't uh, I couldn't do much with it even though it's inked. But the inside, this middle part, that works great. That works really great. So, I just, you know, put the ink on and I need to find something for inking. <laughs> this side isn't that inked. I like this for smaller words or smaller details because I can be precise and, you know, 
and if I have smaller even you know like stuff like this or even smaller because I did um, put inking this is just um, the corner from the sponges um, I did try with this as well and you can actually cut it down so it's just that portion um, if you want to and it, it does a really good job it's you know um, so maybe maybe I should just cut it a little bit so this is not hanging off like that let me see if that's better and you have a handle which you know it's small amount of sponge and you can actually you know maybe this is better but it's it's you know same trick so using a paper clip and nothing is permanent if you need a paper clip then just take it off um, uh, of your sponge and just save the sponge and put it back on whenever you need it if you need bigger paper clip use this one and you can probably try this with uh, um, any other ink really maybe even with watercolors I didn't try it I'll do this one just I clip it on the end and then what I do is slowly cut these scissors are um, well let me see if there is anything um, folia de um, it's uh, you know those black coated scissors uh, so you can cut um, stickers and such that's why I got them um, so yeah another spongy and I would probably use a lot of pieces here um, not just one or you know because you can grab it like really on really the edge and you still can you still can do something with that you know you don't need to throw it away and because it's dense spongy then um, you have stuff to work with you know I'll just cut a little bit here make it a nice frisure yep you know you just need a little bit of cushion um, and because the ink doesn't seep in and it doesn't like um, it's not thirsty <laughs> or how would I say that um, it's really good for small words and you know um, you can see where it pick, picked up the stuff it's manageable I have small hands so these kind of things are very manageable for me and I don't need to buy you know because I was a few days ago I was thinking what if I should just buy it and you know the team holds um, thingy and then I was like maybe and I didn't know if I should just go to the store because they have some uh, well, not that cheap but you know then yesterday when I wanted to do uh, some inking this is my sponge that I still have and it's pretty bad it's flaking off so um, maybe it's the way that it's cut maybe I should use it this side um, but this side it's pretty bad okay so I usually always um, cut around and you reuse it but my fingers get dirty pretty pretty like every every single time so I'm trying to find another um, small paper clip you can and I can just put it in let me do more like corner you know and because I can actually um, have it like this it's small um, you can just put it inside of the smaller container um, or a paper clip container you know when you buy paper clips 
maybe this can help people to actually make their own um, you could probably use the circled um, sponges as well just cut it in the middle or a little bit higher so the curved side is inside of the clip um, that's probably good as well so I'll just put these babies onto my um, side and hope you can give a try to these dubbers and um, let me know if it was successful for you too. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.